goes another one. What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back. Come on, baby. Hey, thought I was going to squeeze in that mop. Right. Hold on, I got a guy asking me for some. Look like he's going to ask me for some cash. Justin, better, you a little better dressed than me, man. Gee, I got on homeboy clothes, homeless clothes. I should be out there with a sign. Need help, Piff Man Ford. I know it sounds weird or it feels weird, but when you guys see this video, there is a bit of a delay and it's only gonna get worse. For instance, my car has an XHP flash on here and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys haven't seen a video on that yet because, well, I haven't posted it. I'm happy to say that I do do it. I love doing it. If I didn't do YouTube, I wouldn't develop certain relationships with certain people. For instance, Brian over at Keys Motorsports, that guy, Yo, that's an authentic dude, cool dude. Same thing for my guy, Jerry, you feel me? I probably would've never bumped into Jerry, you know, if if I didn't do the YouTube. Film for YouTube brought me to partnership with amazing companies with pretty dope people. A lot of people do ask me about like YouTube views and stuff like that. If, like this video if you guys want to have like a breakdown about how much I get paid on YouTube or like how much I get paid on like um, Instagram and stuff like that. You know, there's no way, in my opinion, you can figure this out if you are not me. Like, you know, views does not equal money. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. For instance, I have a video and I'll put it up there. I did a video with Cat's car a long time ago. The video probably got like 150,000 views. And uh, the other video is me talking about getting rid of my M340. And that video got significantly less views. I mean, like maybe not even half the views. However, I got more money from that. You know, a lot of the YouTubers that do like Vlogmas and stuff like that. Um, you know, my idea of that is because around Christmas time, ad companies pay more money, their ads on your videos at Christmas time versus like after, cause like February, March, until it starts to go down hill or the February, I don't know. It, it goes up and down as, as it wants to. And um, yeah, you just have to keep pushing and you know, you do what you love. Cause if you love doing it, you're never gonna quit. You know, it taught me a lot of things. So there's, there's more than just money and this, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I don't know why I went off in that wild tangent, but I did. I'm gonna try to show you guys. I'm gonna throw it in M1, which I set it to the harshest shift setting. Now I just set it to two because how aggressive and scary it is. Dude, is that a, that's not a red light camera. Was that hit a speed camera just now? But uh, I don't know if you feel it. Like two to three and all the other gears are fine, but the rest are like crazy. Like I go to one and two again, like. Like, that's crazy. That's like scary, yo. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it literally feels like the rear end is getting ripped. So I put it to set in two and wondered why anybody would want that, right? But then I thought about it. I got some bald ass Pirellis on the back. When I don't have charge control on, I have it fully off DSC. Not gonna show you guys right here because I have a camera in my hand and uh, I'm not in the, you know, I'm not probably in the best place to do something like that. It doesn't make the thud. It breaks grip and just spins, but it doesn't go doof. So I think that large thud is the transmission shifting, knocking it off, and then the transmission control stopping the power. And like, like that, that sounds like a real axle killer. I don't know. I could be wrong, but. So to fix that, I got some new, some new meats. I like a week. And it's probably been there for like a week. That's maybe this only for one day, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because inside over here, I have a small battery. Oh, battery. yeah, yeah. So that one... So it probably messed it up? Oh, no, no. Maybe yeah. this time, okay? Oh, yeah. I mean, this was... This is certifiably... Certifiably... Low. Is my plug. See, there's this the wear bar. You see the wear bar? It's not quite at the wear, wear bar yet. I mean, it's, it's pretty much there. Like, tomorrow I'll be there, but... See? But these, there's, there's normally some type of line design. I'll show you in the new ones. This is not, oh wow, this is bald. I didn't realize that. Eh, it did pretty good for what it was then. That's why it's missing. It don't even go that deep. It doesn't, it's not as deep as this. That's why this is there and this isn't. I'm pretty sure it helps for like a hydro plane and stuff like that. So it's good because you guys know how I drive. It's always good to have fresh rubber on the back than, um, you know, the patchy patchy job. So I'm gonna test it now. See if my prediction was correct. Turn the gear settings all the way up with XHP. I just had to get an open area where I can launch from the first gear now. Woo! 
that was way better. The feel is better, but uh, I was out doing some draggy runs, and to be honest with you, uh, it made it more difficult for me to get a good time. I'm not saying that this car can't be better with the XHP Flash with like zero to 60s and stuff like that, but I have a stock map, stock tune, I guess you'd say, and I'm uploading the XHP with rear wheel drive and like stock Pirelli tires, even though they have meat on them, I mean, it, I just struggle with traction. And uh, it has that issue where if I turn full traction off and stuff like that, you'll you'll have that one to two kind of boom because it's such, such an aggressive jolt. And even like in other gears and stuff like that, you know, it might knock the car to traction a little bit. So, I mean, all wheel drive, sticky tire, probably be a lot better, you know, because there's no doubt that the trans shifts way more aggressive. Like there's no doubt. And it's instant. Like it's instant. The upshifts are DCT type upshifts. I've driven plenty of F80s, F82s. This is DCT levels of upshift. It feels just as aggressive in a shift in a hard shift setting. Well, um, the only thing that I will say is downshift doesn't feel as like cool you know like like it, it's smooth like it's just like regular automatic downshifts like it's, it's okay it's really fast but i'm talking about like that jerky feeling you don't get it in the downshifts the upshifts you get it yo that is like instant instant i ain't trying to go too crazy because i got a lot of cars over here but feels so much more fun like it wakes the car up now Let's be realistic here. You know, an XHP flash does like minimal, has like minimal effect on like a stock car when it comes to times. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to make it so much more faster, you know, but you know, speed and stuff like that, it's really even hard to gauge like filming on YouTube and stuff like that. I think it's all about feel, like sound. And I think that's why the Hellcats do so well because like they sound and they feel, like you get this feeling from it. You know, and it just makes you feel like, you know, engaged and like, I don't know, like you're doing something, you know, um, and that's what this XRP flash makes me feel like. It makes the car feel more engaging, you know, uh, I like it. And if you guys aren't considering tuning your engine or if you are consider tuning your engine, definitely look into XHP because depending on what you're looking for, you know, if you're coming from an F82 and you are uh, looking for some DCT type shifts. There you go. And this is the most aggressive shift setting. If I bump it down one notch, it is a little bit more aggressive than factory. Um, however, it still feels like factory. Like stage three, like the turn up the knob all the way to the harsh shift setting, that does not feel factory. Like that feels like you tuned something. You know, it feels great. I think it should have came from factory like that, but I'm pretty sure it has a lot more wear and tear in transmission. So yeah, hey, it is what it is. Warranty, don't ask me about the warranty. The warranty for the transmission, out. I, I flashed it. So, if this thing grenades right now, I mean, hey, it is what it is, my guy. I didn't even try it with the oh, regular automatic. That's interesting. Let me try it. Bump it all the way up. I never even drive with the harsh assist setting automatic in general. Good shit bangs into some gears, boy. so we could be chilling we got a guy who gets doesn't know what he's doing whoo I mean I got the hand signal out boy the pew <laughs> look like they out here having some fun yes sir yes sir Yo, in Texas, they be wildin'. Texas, it be man, female on the bike, no clothes, no helmet, nothing. They be doing like 90. And they can't even drive out in Texas. I'm sorry, all my Texas dudes, but y'all can't drive. Oh, it does ship hard. I ain't gonna.
gonna do no wild and out lane splitty splitty stuff. I'm just going a straight line. Oh yeah. Yo, this feels like a proper Autobahn machine, baby. Woo! <laughs> All right. have a salad kit at the crib. So the crib we go. Come on. You get a first gear? There we go. First gear pull. Sport Plus automatic mode. Oh, it's not as it's not as aggressive at all. It does break traction, you guys can tell. What is in the road? What the hell is that? Oh, that's a piece of metal. That's a nice AMG. I have a sweet spot for those things, the GLA uh, 45 AMGs. They look kind of nice. Well, they feel kind of nice. And they come to DCT. Could you believe that? He's running. He's moving. Yeah, this holds the gears. <laughs> Automatic mode is pretty funny. Or fun, I should say, because it holds the gear. That's one thing that I have to learn how to do in these cars, man. I just be so hyped to how we patrol. Be so hyped to um, bang into the next gear. I totally forget you have so much more RPM uh, range. Oh, shout out to my guy Jerry too. My guy Jerry hooked me up with the videos. Yo, y'all should DM him. I'm yo spam him if y'all want this. Spam him, right? Be like, yo, Jenny, we want this shit. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. But look, look, look. And it's crazy because he he be uploading the songs that you don't even know you wanted to bump to. Look who creeping, look who crawling, look who balling in the mix. It's that six six long nicks the nigga sick in your chick. <laughs> I should not remember the lyrics to that shit. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna keep that in the video. Even if it gets copyright, I'm gonna keep that in the video. <laughs> I should not remember the lyrics to that. Oh. Whoa, buddy, buddy, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Yo, my man, what's going on with you people? Listen, I'm gonna let y'all go because uh, I got I'm I'm over on music. I'm feeling the Mike Jones mode right now. So this ain't gonna be a full blown tutorial. I really am not a fan of those things. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it gets super played out. Oh nope 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 nope. Wait nope. I don't want to. Okay, my bad. Yeah, it gets super played out of those things. I don't know. I'm not a fan of it too much anymore. So these are the flash settings. So I'm currently flashed. My stage three, which will give you right here, boom, this whole description. I'll uh, screenshot it and leave it right there for you guys. Make that a little bit easier. Um, what I wanted to show you guys was playing in the settings a little bit. So you got a bunch of things. I clicked on drag mode, but I didn't turn it on. Um, I'll walk you by that real quick. I mean, it's just like, I guess, XSP version of drag racing mode. I don't know if you're able to still stay in first gear and use this, but what I will tell you is they do say your transmission will wear so much more by keep using drag mode. So I just left it off, basically. A torque reduction upstairs is actually my first time seeing that. Um, maybe make it a little bit easier on the upstairs for the car. This might help with like that, that um, one to two issue that I was having. I would ball tires because the Good tires fixed it. Mouse control shift map editor. All these stuff is pretty self 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 explanatory. Uh, another thing that I played around with was the torque limits per gear. I have it on rear wheel drive. Um, 324, 390. I'll screenshot it. Wow. Because, like I said, I really am getting so tired of videos with just nothing but talking about an app that you could just simply download and check out. But boom. So, this is sticky tires, which 
I don't know if I necessarily have sticky tires now, but I may turn it up and see how she performs. And standard, which is like full beans from second and on. So I do have torque limiter still on this car because it'll spin. Activate line pressure bump. I think this is more so for like tuned cars. My car's not tuned, but I just do it on because I have the option to do it. So there you go. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, if you're interested, then just check it out. Just point it out to you a couple of smooth things. You know, stage one has different stuff, just torque limit removed. And stage two is torque limit removed, improved shift times. Stage three is where you get to like the DCT type of bang, 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 which it, it, it really is a bang. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, I just use this MHD piece right here. They have a bunch of different ones you can use, like Thor and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> this one works with my E92 as far as MHD and XHP, and I figured, well, hey, let me give it a shot on this car, and it works. So, you know, bonus for me, I do have the F and G chassis, bigger black box, and that's for MHD or boot mode or anything for the F and G chassis car. So, you know, there you go. Um, yeah, don't know if you guys are interested in that. So, there you guys have it. Let me know what you think. Mission success. We got new tires. We got some new tires on here. I uh, flashed it XHP and explained to you guys the setup. So uh, yeah, that seems to be about it for this video. And uh, stay tuned for some of the next ones to come. Mike from Soul Speed, peace out.